Let us continue with our lesson and today we'll go and learn about the Boolean data type in a Kotlin. So what is a Boolean data type? So Boolean are used for making a decision. So if you want to make some decision, then we make use of a Boolean data type. And it can only hold a value of true or false, whether it is a true or whether it is a false. So we, when we want to make some decision, then we make use of a Boolean. So let's go and create our variable first. I'll say as uh, my bool and one each, uh, let's say each uh, data type of, I will say as a uh, Boolean and which is, I will say as a uh, false, F -A -F -A -L -S -S, false. And let's go down and create another one of uh, my bool of two. And I will say as a data type of a uh, Boolean, it equals to true. And what I will say is, uh, let me just give one space over here, just for our readability. And we have created two boolean variables. One is bool one and my bool two. And one, my bool one is a false, and it, and another one is a true. So we can only make use of true or false. You cannot give like a, a zero or one or number there. Right? So we can only make use of a true or false over here. So only two true and false can be hold by a boolean variable. So let's go down over here and we will check some value over here. Let's make use of our Boolean data type in some uh, condition checking. Let's say uh, we want to check of if, I will make use of if, and let's make use of this one, my number, or let's say if, uh, if let's check this one, let's say my Boolean one, my bool one, so my bool one, each, uh, is true so by default is true so it's uh, we have set it to false and we will say as uh, and I will say as if my bool is true by default it is true and we can also explicitly mention that is uh, true and uh, you see we have some here simplify the boolean expression then if you just want to simplify you can simplify just by checking by default it will be as a uh, true so default value of boolean is always true that we want to check if it is true then what we want to do is we want to log that e and i will say as a boolean data type this is l e a n and i will call it as a tag as a boolean i will say as each true t r u e right and otherwise i will just say as a else i will just say as a log that e let me copy this one and just paste it over here and i'll just say as a h r f a l s e false so don't worry about the if or else uh, what we are using here just focus on that we are checking here that whether if my bool is true then i will print out in the log that is true if it is false then it will go to the else part and i will it will print as a each false in a log cat Similarly, we can make use of another one, which is, uh, let me go, and my bool two, which is by default is true. And let me copy this hole and just paste it just below down. And I will say as a my bool two over here. And if it is true, and it will go and print this one. And if it's not true, then it will go and print this one. So I will just say if, okay, let me just run it. Don't make you confused anymore. So just run the application for now. Let me run the application and let's wait for the compilation. And let me open the Android uh, Illuminator over here. And also let me open the logcat over here. So let me clear the logcat first. So now when the application is running, you can see that is uh, we have a boolean. We is false first one and it's true. So if you see the first one, you see it's false. So if it is printing, it's false over here. And it is the second part is printing is true. Here is a printing. Because uh, my bool one, if you see over here, let me minimize. My bool one is a variable of false. That's why it's printing is a false. And whereas my bool two is true. And we are checking that if it is true, then print uh, my boolean is a true. 
So that's it for uh, boolean. Just make sure that boolean can hold only true and false values. So we can just check a condition over here. So that's it and we'll meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.